hey, can you use Copilot to translate the document? You know, that's that could be useful for me. So let's try it. Can you translate this document in French? So I'm going to pick a file, useful prompts for marketing. And I'll see if it works. And you'll see that is, unfortunately, I was disappointed, but it's not able to translate the document in French. But what it tells you, there's another way to do it. Open the document in Word, click on the review tab, translate. I didn't know there was a feature in Word that was doing that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open the document. I'm going to go in the review tab. And was it review? And yes, there is a translation so I can translate the document. I can translate it to French, choose my language, click translate. Actually, it creates another document and it's translated. But as you can see, it's a little bit disappointing because here the word word was tra <laughs> translated in the word mot in French, which is which means word, and it doesn't recognize it's a product. It should have been enough intelligent here it does it keep the word in english but here it doesn't so it's pretty weird but okay let's say at least it saves me a lot of time and so copilot was just a help to guide me and um so now if i want to edit it it's save a copy of the file and now i have the the document in french and you see, since it's not my default language, it shows me all the spelling error. So it tells me, yeah, okay, I just did it. So why are you telling me? And also what I can do is make it better. And I like this feature. I wanted to show this feature too in Copilot. So you can select, you see every time there's a product, a need and um, the way to address the need. So I can try to ask Copilot to make that more readable. And I'm going to ask to visualize that as a table. So it's going to be easier to, to read, especially in that use case. So sometimes you can just select just one paragraph and ask to summarize the paragraph in the table if it's you know applicable. But it's, you're going to see it's really beneficial in terms of uh, easiness to read. And it keeps the document in French, which is good. <laughs> but you see, it's really well formed. I've you understood that I have the tool, I have the title and description. So maybe it's, I can change the title by action uh, or need and description. So it's pretty... It's doing it, its work. You see, there's still the, the word word in French, mot. So I need to fix that. But it doesn't help me really to, Copilot doesn't help me really to translate a document. That's what I wanted to show. And we can try to see if in Word, if I'm, I'm doing this in Word, not in the chat, if it works. So that's my next, I'm going to keep this. That's my next call to action is go back in the English Word document. So I should have a new version. He added French at the end. Let's open back this one and see if I can translate this um, by saying here, either here, rewrite 
this document in French. And the reason why I'm shooting this video is for you to take advantage of the time I spent trying things that are not working. So I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. So first I'm, tr I'm trying to do it in the chat window for Copilot. And obviously this uh, shouldn't work because it didn't work in the, in the Teams chat. So I will be surprised if it were working here. No, it tells me the exact same thing. So now can I go there and say draft right in French the document. And maybe I can here point to the document. Let's see if I point, point to the document, if it changed something. It shouldn't be working, but it seems that sometimes the word features are more powerful than the chat features. Because in ChatGPT, I can take a text and say, you know, translate it in, in, in whatever language. So since it's based on the same engine from OpenAI, to so you see it works here. It's more powerful. It's really weird. So when I'm in Word and I'm saying write this document in French, or maybe I shouldn't have said translate. Maybe it's a translate thing that is the problem. But write this in French, it does a, a, a good job. And I don't see the the word mo. So it's doing it even better. Because ChatGPT for translation is better than uh, the word engine. Uh, or usual tools to translate. So definitely you want to look at that to translate go in Word and point to the document. Um, I'm not sure, let's let's deal with this. The problem if I wanted to translate just this one, you know, when I say rewrite, I don't have an option to say rewrite how. So that's, you know, I, I would like to say, you know, rewrite it in French. I will hope there will be a, an option here in, in French or in another language, or let me enhance the prompt somewhere. Uh, so I didn't find a way to select a piece of text and ask, um, ask Copilot to replace it with something. Even if I want to enhance that, uh, write this, write this, um, you know, I want to rewrite it, but with instructions. And it doesn't give me any room for instructions here. So that's, a, to me, that's a, a limitation. And I can definitely do it by, uh, you know, going there, selecting this, and going there and say, okay, write this in French. So that's the only way I can do it. I hope that for rewriting, we call, uh, you know, in the future, we call rewrite by instructing how we want to rewrite by using some keywords or, or any prompt, actually, because it does a good job when I do it outside but I just have to do a copy paste. So this is how you can manage to translate information documents um, with Copilot. You know, don't go the chat way, go directly either in a Word document and say you want to translate, uh, you want to write the document in French uh, in, the, in another one Word document, or you select uh, 
the content you want to translate and you you paste it in a, when you're drafting in word a new prompt you say can you translate this in french several methodology depending on if it's a big document or if just a, a piece of document and obviously it's not just about french you can then prompt whatever you want write it with the style of or you can you know write it uh with you know that kind of information on top of it and so you you then you open to a lot of uh, features that are usually in chat gpt and are beneficial to write anything in word and that's the the, the way i found so far how to translate information but also we can do many other things that chat gpt does hope this was insightful